There are opening nights in the theater, and then there are uh, opening night parties, and then there is an opening night of Evita, and a party like this lavish party here at the Fountain Blue Hilton for the uh, cast and assorted glitterati. The hosts of this party are Steve Muss, who owns the Fountain Blue Hilton, and Zev Buffman, who is the producer of the play. So, uh, this party is a little bit like theater, but Evita is real theater. In fact, I would call it the very model of a modern musical. Avita, very simply, is the story of how a girl from the boonies of Argentina slept her way up to the presidential palace and how she became an idol, almost a deity to the Argentines, simultaneously a saint and a saint, a sex object. Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber tell her story in a series of brilliant scenes and songs. The stage business itself is sheer genius, and presiding over everything like a, a cosmic stage manager is Che Guevara. He provides a kind of caustic commentary on everything that transpires. Avita is already a modern classic, and this production does it justice, but there are problems. Principally, all the principles seem physically wrong for their parts. Florence Lacey, who plays Ava Perron, has a thin voice, and John Wolfe, who plays Perron, is thin when he should be stout. Still, this is the most exciting musical to hit Miami this year, last year, and probably next year. The show is expensive. Tickets cost about $25, but I say pawn the family jewels and see it. It's terrific. Reporting live at the Fountain Blue Hilton, Michael Putney, Channel 4 News.